text-to-image applications like Midjourney, Dolly, and Stable Diffusion are considered to be some of the best AI tools out there, but what's the one thing they all have in common? What is it about Leonardo AI that might just give it that edge you're looking for? You'll find out right here. Leonardo AI has a lot of powerful features, like image-to-text generators, AI Canvas, which is kind of like Photoshop AI, and texture generation for people who want to work on 3D models. In this video, we'll explore how to use Leonardo AI, how to generate the best images using text prompts, and what is it that sets it apart from the competition. But hey, before we get going, please subscribe, guys, and we'll keep delivering cool content. The first step in this Leonardo AI tutorial is to gain access to the program. Just search Leonardo AI on Google or any other search engine you might want to use. Then click on the link and you'll be directed to the Leonardo homepage. From there, you can generate items, environments, helmets, buildings, concept arts, and other cool stuff. At the top of the homepage, there's the Get Early Access button. You'll need to click on that and provide your name and your email. Then click on the Count Me In button and you're done. Then you'll have to get the confirmation email and that can take a little while, so to get access ASAP, hit the Click Here button and you'll be directed to a Google form. To fill it out, you've either got to join their Facebook group or Discord server. If you have a Discord account, click on this invitation link. Once that's done, come back to the form and fill out the details, including your Discord username, first name, and the email you'll be using to get access to the platform. After submitting, you'll see they've added you to their whitelist. Now you need to go back to the homepage and click on the Launch App option in the top right corner. Go to Yes, I'm whitelisted, and from here, make sure to click on the Continue with Google option. It'll be much easier this way. Otherwise, you can set up a new account by using the email you used on Google Forms and adding a new password. Once you're in, you just have to enter the username you want to use. Choose your interests, and you're done with the sign-up process. The user interface is pretty straightforward to navigate from here. On the front page, you can see different featured AI models. There's Dream Shaper, 3D animation style, absolute reality, and a bunch of other options. Below this, you'll see recent images that people have generated using the tool. These are new images, those that are trending, and top images which are categorized based on the number of likes they get. You'll notice that these images generated by other users are really high quality, and it's kind of inspiring. If you're wondering how these images were generated, just click on one and it'll give you all of the information like this user chose these prompt details to create this stunning image. If you want to generate a similar one, you can also copy their prompt. This is a really cool feature of Leonardo AI, as it's not only allowing you to generate high quality images, but it's also allowing you to see how others are doing it. On the left hand sidebar, you can go to the community feed where you can see more of the images that have been generated on this platform. Below that, there's a personal feed where the images that you create appear. Below this, there's the fine-tuned models, where you can see the system-based models, but there's also some models that are made by the community. The models that you'll create will appear here, and we're going to explain more about the models in more detail later in this video. We're set to move on to the main features of this incredible free AI tool, and before we do, please subscribe for more AI-related content. All right then, let's talk about the text-to-image generator. With this image generation feature, different amounts of tokens are required to generate images. For example, if you're generating an image in Leonardo Diffusion, this takes a high amount of tokens, but if you choose the absolute reality model, it'll take fewer tokens. On the left side, you'll see different options to choose from. There's the number of images you want to generate using a text prompt. Then there's Leonardo AI Prompt Magic, which can enhance the final image, but it's going to cost some extra tokens, so keep that in mind. Next there's tiling, and you can choose this if you want to keep on repeating the background on your images. You can then go to the prompt section, and you'll notice there's an option for generating your own prompt. And if you want to make some changes, you can do so by editing it before hitting generate. It can take some time to generate the image, so you might want to grab some refreshments while you wait. You've also got different options for downloading or editing, but again, it'll take extra tokens to remove the background or make other changes. Now we're moving on to the next feature within Leonardo AI, which is the AI Canvas. You can upload your own image or generate a new one by typing a text prompt. You can use the Draw Mask tool to change any element you want, and you can even erase an element out of an image. Once you're happy with the result, download it. On to the fine-tuned models, and you'll see there's a bunch of models you can choose from. For example, 3D animation style. But if you want, you can make a model of your own by going to the Training and Datasets section. You'll have to upload images here, which will then be studied by Leonardo AI, and it'll create a new model similar to the images you uploaded. 
If you want to compare, say, Midjourney and Leonardo AI, both of these AI art generators are seriously good. But here's what sets Leonardo AI apart from the competition, the pricing. Whilst Midjourney used to give limited free access to its users, that's no longer available. Leonardo AI provides 150 free tokens that are refilled after every nine hours. 